This piece is built on a very simple pattern, which is both melodic and rhythmic. It is in the right hand. I'll play the sample from the first measure, full first measure. That is moved two times. Next measure, down to G, the same figure, same shape, same rhythm. And then again for the third measure, down to D. So notice for all three of those, I'm using the same starting finger, number two, and moving it subsequently to each position. And I will end with a C major chord. The whole first line played together of the right hand. Going on to the next measure, next line, we stay in the same position on D. The rhythmic figure is the same, although the contour of the melody changes. It moves up at the end with the staccato eighth notes. Here's a sample, measure five. Measure six is the same thing. We stay in the same position. We're going to use the thumb this time and still rising to two eighth notes on G with the pinky. Here is measure six. Measure five and six again, this time back to back. Connection with the next measure, before you move your hand, take a look at where your pinky is in this position. You're going to shift your hand, taking finger two and placing it above where the pinky currently is. So we're moving to the A. And here again is our old contour of melody back again. This is measure seven. And we stay there to play measure eight resolving the suspension to our thumb. So measures five through eight. Measures nine through 12 are a exact repeat of the first four measures of the piece. Now I would like to talk about adding in the left hand at the beginning of the piece in measure three. The left hand position is in an F5 finger position, omitting the B flat, all white keys. And we're essentially playing thirds from C and moving down using the fingers in place. So we have not moved the hand at all. We're just playing the thirds successively moving down. If you put it together with the right hand in that measure, with finger two, we are very close together. Here's measure three. And then this chord between the hands is comprised of all thirds. So from the beginning, make sure when you start the piece that you have your left hand ready to go in position rather than leaving it unready and scrambling when you need to get it playing for the piece. So here we begin on measure one through measure four. From this position, this is measure four. Measure five, if you look at the score, is the exact same notes with the exception of the A becoming an A flat. Now this does require a change of hand position. Slightly, we're going to modify it by using these fingers, finger two and finger four. Measure six, again moves this third down. As you look at measure seven, the third continues to move down to D and F sharp with the addition of a stretch in the thumb up to C. So that will be played all at once. Let's try that for measure five. Left hand. Measure six. Measure seven. 
we carry the third down one more and add the seventh together. The C is here as the seventh of this chord. This hand shape, note the seventh interval here, spanning pinky to thumb. We're going to take that same hand shape and move it up. Okay, before we do, here was our chord. We're going to find this next chord by using this key as a guide. Here's our F sharp. The root of our next chord is here on G, so our pinky is going to be shifting all the way here. And we keep this interval of a seventh. And resolving to the B here. Suggested fingering of two in the middle works nicely to balance the hand. So again, just left hand alone from measure five through eight. Bringing the third down one more time with the added seventh. We're shooting for this note for our pinky. Second finger in the middle, spanning the seventh. Resolving the 4 3 suspension. Played to hands together sounds like this measures 5 through 8. Again, measures 9 through 12 is a repeat of the opening, four bars. final line of the piece, which is a sequence of the same position moved through two different registers, not counting where we start. Again, this interval of a seventh is spanning our left hand from the bottom to the top, pinky to thumb. Inverted, we have the interval of a second here in the right hand. I'd like you to try moving this up an octave. next position. This is the next measure after that. And the final measure of the piece uses this C in combination with this in the left hand. So let's try that again. It's measure 13. Measure 14. Measure 15. 3 is already in place here on C, and thumb scoots down a half step, and we have our thumb in the right hand in place. We add the C's to finish. Once you add in the contour of the right hand in measure 13, this pinky can act as a guide for where to place the left hand as it moves up to the next register. Now, a performance of the whole piece, Cakewalk. <laughs> 